Beer Adriaanse, you have a heri hole. Oh yeah. You got a seriously heri hole. Uh, for any interested parties out there, if you want to see Beer's hat, yeah, and you, get, you get to see his, yeah, you get to see his hole in this movie. Yeah. You get to see his luck as well, but I mean, mm. you get to we have to talk about his role. Yeah, Beard plays a good drill sergeant in this movie, right? He does. I, I, but I love him, man. From I like him. Yeah. he's I like such him. a great guy. Yeah. And we, yeah. we actually got the opportunity got to meet him. Yeah, yeah. at Silver Sky of Fierce. Yeah. And he, I was like, hey, you. And he's like, hey, I'll yeah. watch your show. When I saw him personally, I mean, he's, 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 he's about yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice cock short. He's, he's, he's a short guy. He's you know? cock short. And I was like, I, the first thing I was like, yo, I will kick him in his pussy. <laughs> 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 Yo, yeah. look, the thing is like this, that man, he might be short, he might be dangerous, because now he's, he's, he's hairy, he's, he's short, he's got a decent size He's, he's basically an Ewok, my bro. Yeah, but a big Ewok. Yeah, like one of the bigger ones. One of the bigger Ewoks, and I mean, the Ewoks, the Ewoks did kick ass. They kick ass, yeah. so you better yeah. watch your hat. But I will not mess with beer at all. They call him the bear for a reason, obviously. I mean, it's not just for like, because he's hairy. Because he's got a hairy hole. Oh. independent film, which is also a passion project, clearly, uh, for those involved in its production. This, in my opinion, is one of those movies that has a lot of creative ingenuity, but lacks a vision for commercialism. The lead, portrayed with intensity by stand-up comedian Skull Pesadnote, is a man struggling with his identity and who is also heavily influenced um, with many of the UK new romantic bands of that era and that time, you know, like Boy George and Duran Duran. I mean, yeah, that's Miss Yul Brasser. You must get in that Mensa. I do like this Mensa, you know. Duran Duran, Boy George, Depeche, Depeche Mode. Mode. Absolutely, they're not just for gay boys. The filmmakers have used his taste in music to define his feelings, his joy, his inner turmoil, all that cuck. And they have expressed this by way of artistic dance sequences. These sequences also mimic the fashion trends of the very artists that he so adores and models himself on. The film's artistic freedom is defined by these scenes. They're well structured and they tap into that part of anyone who has ever imagined their lives to be something different or fantasized about what they would like, actually like their lives to be. Canary's color palette and cinematography for that matter also scores points for really giving us the sense that this is 1985. The movie looks intentionally removed and this works in its favor, or its advantage at least, to basically create that suspension of disbelief. That's really the fuck, Matthew, but it's more like 1975. Come on, bro. I know you made a valid point in saying, well, you know, those are things that accumulated and all that yeah. I'm sorry, Matthew. No, when I was growing up, Sony, there was a Sony television somewhere in my vicinity it was a sound sui sound system. Okay. You know. I believe like sound systems were like fucking new that time. Yeah, but they were, was, they were, they were. But, but people were buying them, bro. People oh, yeah. were buying them as, in the early 80s. We are in the middle of, we are in 1985, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, we are looking at like. A like very farm and rustic area. Exactly. We're not no. looking at like city life. City life. Exactly. Yeah. No, no. That's Come true. on, I fucking need you. Ducks in that area. I think if we are Canary tries to tell you that the old dispensation was tough on its own people as well. Your religion was dictated, your political motivations were dictated, and in the case of this film, your sexuality was dictated also. A large part of this movie takes place in the SA Army, and while not an holistic approach to it, it does offer great insight into what these conscripted people went through. The staunch ideology of the superiors is also something that is well conveyed. Poseidon note and his co-stars must be lauded. This is a well acted film and while Skulk is tops and he has definitely thrown himself into the role, his performance is bolstered by Hermanus Otto and Germant Geldenhuis. These actors have transformed themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. All three of them. Mm -hmm. I think they were mainly the three leads of the film. Yeah. Right? They, they drove the story. Matthew, uh, I, saw, I saw pictures of them what they, on online, what they generally look like. Mm. And the, I mean, the transformation is just astounding. I've seen Scott do stand up comedy a couple of times. I know, times, yeah. Right? And he comes off as, I mean, he's quirky off me, but you can see that, that, that man's straight. Yeah, I know that man, you know. Well, I'm his Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. You know what I mean? I mean he loves the triangle. 
Yeah, sure. Not the Nord. Die probably didn't get for like six months or something. Okay. But now um, probably got nine in the world and Alice just getting to get it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he... I won't be surprised. No, not at all. No, no. I mean, he fucking... No, he, he, he ate it. He bit. He bit. And he ate it as well. Exactly. Just to get both sides. Exactly. Because he wanted to get a full, the full spectrum of, 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 of being gay. Of batting for Australia. So, you know, he got pumped in the hole and he pumped in the hole. Exactly. He took the meat, he gave the meat. You know, method acting. There we go. Well done, Skalk. Thank you, Skalk. Christian Olwagen directs with authority from a script by himself and Charles Johan Lungenfelder. While the amazing cinematography was achieved by Chris for Mark. PJ, it's about that time. Give the people out there your score, please. Hurry up. Thank you very much, Matthew. I'm going to give Canary 5.5 out of 10. And I wanted to give it 5, but I figured, you know what? It deserves to border closer to a 6. And that's quite simply because this film, I, I cannot technically fault this film. And I cannot knock the acting of this film. This film is well made, there was clearly money behind it. But my biggest gripe, and I told Matthew, is the ridiculous runtime of two and a half hours. This film's fat needs to be trimmed. Shh. Compress it, bring it down to 90 minutes, make it nice, turn it into a fucking athlete. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a long distance runner. You know what? When you make a film, I don't care how fucking good your movie is, how fucking perfuck or just it is. If it's not going to make money, then what are we doing? You know what I mean? If there is no commercial value in what you are trying to achieve, then what are we doing? Are we making films for speck and bungees, Matthew? Are we making films just for fucking traps and trotters? What's going on here? I certainly hope I fucking hate trap and trotters. I fucking hate that cut to his life when I was a light ago. But that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, is that, like, where is the market for this film? Where, like, how does, how does it, how, how, where is the ROI? Like PJ said, we cannot fault this film. I cannot think of a bad thing to say about the film itself, as in the portrayal of all the characters, you know, the story itself. It really is undone by the length though. I mean, I keep thinking it was going to end and then it just added on, added on, added on, and like unnecessary, there's some unnecessary scenes in here. In saying that, I'm going to give this film 7 out of 10, because I actually quite enjoyed this film. I did, and uh, it really is an important film, you know, for, you know, I don't think we then the target audience for it, but I mean, there are people that went through that, there are people that are still going through it, it's 2018, but, you know, there is still people still living in, you know, the space where they are restricted from being themselves and, and, and you know, coming out and, and being comfortable with who they are. Hmm. So I, I suppose it's important in that regard. And you know, people are receiving this film pretty well. So I do think if you're in any way intrigued by this film, go check it out and you will enjoy it. Maybe take a blanket and a pillow with you might tip near the end. That's quite long. But yeah, that's my there. So that's it this week for that movie review. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Don't be so, man.